up my Dimash lovers we are back I am back with another video and I'm so happy to be back like I've been gone for a while and I haven't done a video in like a while it seems like but I'm back so this video that we're reacting to is a uh, a helpful guide to um, Dimash and I'm super excited to be reacted to this because I get to learn more about Dimash, you know, I mean, I don't feel like it's anything else to know besides the fact that he's very talented and he's the best singer in the world and Period, yeah Like what else do you need to know? <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into it But before we do make sure that you like comment and subscribe and follow my social media down below in the description box and click the bell to be notified when I upload uh, follow my Twitch account because I will be doing some live reactions over there and some live gaming uh, Some live gaming videos and stuff over there Because they don't really hit you with copyright over there with Twitch. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of live um, You know reactions over there and probably edit them and then put them over to YouTube or whatever, but uh, yeah, let's go right ahead and get into it. If you guys want me to do that, comment below and let me know and I will do it. So let's go right ahead and get into this. Because I love Dimash, period. So excuse the glare in my glasses, y'all. I gotta read this. On January 10, 2017, an unknown young man took the stage in a Chinese competition show, The Singer. I love when you sing this song. I do. <laughs> One billion views in China confirmed the arrival of an amazing vocal artist. But who is he? The best, that's who he is. Dimash Dimash came from the West China. Born May twenty fourth, nineteen ninety four. Wait a minute. Height one ninety one six three. He's six three? What? Home of the Atobi Kazakhstan. I think I pronounced that right. I did not know Dimash was that young. Like he's literally two years older than me. I did not even I I did not know that. Like what? I thought he was older, like in his thirties or his late twenties or something. Like I did not know Dimash was that young. So he's very tall. Okay, he's very very tall. Like I'm six foot and six three? Oh my gosh. Like that is giant. Kazakhstan. The mosh stand. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, that's his family. Oh, they're so beautiful. We should call Return of the Sun, where the eldest boy is raised by the grandparents. Oh. The grandparents moved in with Kanat and Zubeda to raise the Marsh and to support. The Marsh's mother is an opera singer. His father is a singer and music producer. So that's where his amazing talent comes from. Both have been named honored music artists of the Kazakhstan. She has a lovely voice. So that's where he gets his amazingness from? Like, what? He learned the opera from his mom. Oh my gosh. Yes. Growing up. 
They noticed my eagerness for music when I was five. My mother brought me every day to the music school, even though she had a lot of pain in her leg. Oh. My Dina showed him some notes and asked to repeat and play. What is amazing is that Dimash could recognize and repeat the notes. Afterward, his teacher told me he has an absolute pitch. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. Dimash has the love and support of his extended family. I know they're so proud of him. He's just amazing. Yeah, that is so adorable. Oh. Oh. The boss is naturally gifted. Yes, he is. But his voice has been developed through extraordinary effort under the guidance of outstanding. Wait, what? Outstanding teachers starting at the age of five. This, oh, look at baby Dimash. Classical vocals, art of stage performance, very vocal, master of composition. The voice, the voice. I can't, I cannot wait to see him um, win the competition at the world's best. I'm waiting for them to start doing the. I'm waiting for the um, auditions to be over and they start the actual perform uh, competition. The love of Tyus Swans, Unforgettable Day, that is one note short of six octaves. I do not know how to read music, so I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Soprano, tenor, baritone, bass. Come on. Oh, so he's past the note. Whoa. Ooh. First of all, his transition between high and low registers is flawless, smooth. Yes. And that's something that I noticed when he performs, like at the beginning. He's like at a very low register and then he just randomly just go like very high. And a lot of times with artists, they have to be careful with that because when they tend, like when you transition, like when you start at a low register, you transition, you know, transition to a high uh, register, it's not the best for a lot of artists because a lot of them can't control their voices. But the one thing with Dimash is that he can really control his voice. So he can randomly go in and out with the low and high registers. So I feel like that's one reason why I really do love him a lot. He has marvelous vocal agility with opening and closing his vocal track and his great breathing technique, holding and releasing. He has reached a level of superhuman techniques. He doesn't just have technique. He knows how to interpret interpret songs Fu Lin, the president of the Chinese Pop Musicians Association interpret songs composer this man is amazing His hands is going like a million miles per hour. <laughs> Look how fast his hands is going.
drums too. <laughs> yes. Dancer, he's everything in one. Like that's a total package. You can't beat that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Public affairs. Ambassador for tur tourism spoke to the guys. Youth ambassadors take road initiatives to inform. A man without his dreams is like a forest without a night. I want to show the culture of this country in front of the world. Amazing. I want to show the culture of the Kazakhstan in front of the world and what I can do is sing. You sure can do that. I love this performance. I love it so much, y'all. Like, this is probably one of my favorites. Come on, Dimash. I want to meet, I'm going to meet Dimash. I'm not going to say I want to, I'm going to meet him. I'm going to. I really love this performance too. I really love this one. performance is this wow wow mm. this is how I know he's going to win the world's best because he deserved to win it. Yes, that performance was everything too. I was like, wow, because it was so different. Like the background and this, you know, a different element for him. So I was just like, oh yes, performance was everything.
Okay, that was it. So that was a helpful guide to Dimash, uh, the man with the wildest vocal range, the world's best voice. So I do believe that I did get to know him a little bit more after looking at this. I found out that he's literally, he was born in 94, I was born in 96. So I didn't realize he was that young. Now I see he's young. Um... So he should be 24 or 25, right? I think 24. Depends on how his birthday is. I think he should be 24 or is he going to be 25 this month? I think he's going to be 25. Well, this year, 25, if I'm not mistaken. Depends on when this video was made. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, um, I did get to know a little bit more about him, where he's from. Uh, his family and everything. I think that was a beautiful thing. His mom is an opera singer. I did not know that. So that's kind of where he gets the whole opera from as well. Because I noticed with some of his performances, he does incorporate opera and different genres into his performances. So I think that's really, that's amazing. That's great. That's a lot of talent. And I love Dimash. I like this. He's like my favorite singer. Like I have to say that because he sings. You know, he really can sing. So, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.